Before the birth of Christ, Armenia was already an ancient land. As the biblical nation of Ararat, her story begins with the dawn of civilization and continues to the present, rooted in the living rock. A land of mountains at the gates of east and west, none could destroy Armenia, yet few could unite her. In the year 95 BC, one man rose above the mountains and shook the ancient world. His name was Tigran the Great. A charismatic and visionary conqueror, he united his nation in the face of Parthia and Rome and founded one of the greatest empires of antiquity. The King of Kings built several capitals throughout Armenia, each bearing his name, Tigranakert. One of the greatest, built in the eastern province of Artsakh, remained a center of Armenian civilization for over 1,500 years. Over time, it returned to the mountains, lost without a trace. Until now. Մեր առաջին սենսացիոն բան է։ Փողով ծածկված էր, այսա երևում է եւ այս էր երևում, այսա։ Buried beneath a mountain in the Ahdan region of Karabakh, the legendary Tigrana Kerd of Artsakh has been found. The discovery was made by an expedition of Armenia's top archaeologists, led by Dr. Hamlet Petrosyan. On the first day of digging, veteran archaeologist Jores Khachaturian revealed the supporting wall of a man-made terrace. The wall held back the weight of the mountain like a dam, supporting an area created for buildings and gardens, much like the hanging gardens of Babylon. When built, it was at least five meters high and extended across the mountain like a belt, separating the fortress from the city below. In building their walls, Tigran's architects used the mountain as a foundation, adapting its surface to establish a level line on which to place their stones. Further up the mountain is the most sensational discovery so far, the wall of the citadel itself, discovered on the second day of digging. Before long, massive limestone blocks were revealed, quarried from the hill itself. The wall is a brilliant example of highly sophisticated Hellenistic building techniques. Karoge Jamanaki and Taskun Karere Sharjven, 
ստեղծել են այսպես կոչված ծիծերնակապոչ կապերը։ Երկու հարևան կարեր միացված են իրար ժամանակի ինտասկում ահա այս խորոչների ոգնության։ Հորոչների մեջ դնում էին երկաթի կամ պայտի գամեր և համրացնում տարբեր եղանակներով կամ հալաց արջեջի միջոցով կամ որև է շաղախի միջոցով։ Կանի որ մեր այս սեղանատիպ բացվածքը շատ նմանա չունեն շատ կաղաքներ։ Ուշարություն դարձնենք մենք խոսում ենք, երբ եմ են եգիպտոսի կաղաքակրտության մասին, Մայաների մշակույթի մասին, ասում ենք, որ նրանց կարոցած կաղաքների պարիսպները այն բարձեր մակարդակով են Հայսերական դիսցիպլինան։ Ես ուզում եմ նաև շրշտել, որ ուրեմ են աստեյության ահան նման կարուցողական տեխնիկա մենք կիրարված ունենք պաստագրված միայն առառածյան դաշտում և առառածյան դաշտիս դեպի հարավ և արև Այսօր տիգրանակերտը եզակի հուշարձանն է, որ ներկայանում է ժամանակի ամենը առաջադիմական, որեմ են ահա այս կարույցով։ The king built his eastern capital in one of the 15 provinces of Greater Armenia, known from the 13th century as Karabakh, the black forest of the mountains. To the Armenians, the land is still known by its ancestral name, Artsakh. By the early 5th century, Christianity had taken root around Tigranakir, and Artsakh soon became one of the early cradles of the faith. Tigranakir evolved with their people from pagan antiquity to the Christian Middle Ages, flourishing for 1500 years until the coming of the Mongols. The medieval historian Sebeos spoke of battles raging around the walls of Tigranakir. At the close of the 20th century, fighting rocked the buried walls again, when the region was recaptured by Armenian forces in one of the fiercest engagements of the Karabakh War. Ruins, ancient and modern, stand silently side by side, a testament to the terrible cost of freedom. For Hamlet Petrosyan, now working in an area once off-limits to Armenian archaeology, the war brought an end to decades of cultural repression. Excavating in a battle zone created serious challenges. Dr. Petrosyan had the whole area checked and cleared of mines before digging could begin. The safety of the dig is ensured by the local experience of workers from the nearby village of Nor Maragha. The entire community was uprooted from their ancestral village of Maragha, now in Azerbaijan. Fleeing from home to home during the war, they carried the name of their village with them and little else. For men such as Vladimir Vanyan, who fought and raised their families on the front lines, the excavation of Tigranakir has a special significance. This is the first time I was born in April. I was born in April, but I was born in April. I was born in April, and I was born in April, and I was born in April. Հանդրեմ սա է այս ամենը, որ մենք այս սորվա դրության բաշատում ենք այս տվել վայրի վրա։ In the fields just south of the mountain is the site of what was once downtown Tigranakert, 
home to tens of thousands at the city's peak. While digging here and along the fortress walls above, thousands of pieces of pottery have come to light. Pottery is the archaeologist's clock, and the shards confirm what the walls have already told us. The pieces date from the 1st century BC through to the 14th century AD. But pottery doesn't just tell the time. The fragments are snapshots of urban life in Tigranakert, displaying the artistry, local traditions, and craftsmanship of the city as it evolved through the ages. Amongst the earliest fragments, traces of symbols, such as the Tree of Life, illuminate the spiritual values of pre-Christian Tigranakert. The 7th century Vankasar church, just to the west of Tigranakert, is a reminder that the city was Christian for nearly 1,000 years. Down below in the city district, another major discovery bears witness to religious life in medieval Tigranakert. Three kilometers north, near the village of Nor Maragha, is one of the most enigmatic monuments in Artsakh. The 5th to 12th century monastic complex embodying the mystical beliefs of an early Christian community. At the top of the cliff, like an eagle's nest, is the sacred heart of Tigranakert, its walls blackened by centuries of candles. The cave is a time capsule of Tigranakert's spiritual world. Transformed into a church in the 5th century, it was already a sacred place in the days of Tigran the Great. Shot Ushagra were on Bok Chanapara, Depi Aitser Pava, Depi Yegeti, Patkira Svil Naev, Mitesak Hachi Chanapar. Carved along the edge of the cliff, the path leads up to the cave, symbolic of the cross on Golgotha. So, Raymond made Jaira for Yegesine, Hyestera Mutkubi, Mikich Gushgunov. Seven hundred years of tradition are carved into the walls. The oldest crosses date to the 5th century and bear inscriptions of Christ's name in Greek, establishing Artsakh as one of the early cradles of Christianity. Traces of red paint can still be seen, symbolic of the blood of Christ. Beneath the cave is the final resting place of the sanctuary elders. Like everything else in Tigranakert, the tombs are carved into the living rock. In a last symbolic act, their bodies face the cross in the east, towards the resurrection, the rising sun, and the light of salvation. Tigranakert is a monument to the Armenian Odyssey. Today, archaeologists are on the front lines of a struggle to rescue history from the grave. A struggle whose final victory is won with the shovel, not the gun. The rediscovery of Tigranakert is a victory for truth, a vindication of a people's roots and identity, a message of hope from a king to his nation, passed like a torch across 2,000 years. From the ruins, the flame is rekindled, not for destruction, but for light. <laughs>